outdoors. If you like this uh, channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe and like, and uh, I'll have a lot more adventures for you. Thank you. Oh, Daisy here. She's getting a little excited about my fishing post here. You ready to go fishing, Daisy? Are you? Are you ready? Let's go fishing. There, if you can see it, that's the cabin we stayed at. We got two cabins here. It's actually a trout lake here, but there's bass through here. It's a beautiful day. You gotta go over here and see if fish move them. It could be trout, but it could be bass. Won't know until you try. Not very big. There's a little bass, not very big. Not big enough for the tournament. You gotta be 12 inches longer. Uh. Yeah, this is only a nine and a half. It have to be 12 inches or lo longer to keep. There she goes. Uh, of course, I gotta be one of those days. Catch the tree. Oh no. Dang it. And the hook got to screw up at the wrong time when the fish hit it. Oh Laramie came out and visit. While I was out here fishing, I had to come back and get some pliers. He got me peanut butter and banana oatmeal set up. So now I have my breakfast. I already drink my coffee. So we're back out to go fishing. I'll eat my breakfast while we're doing some fishing. Kind of fish, but I don't think it's big enough to. Finally got one. Okay, might be big enough to put be on the screen. Let's hope so. Yeah. Phone ready. I think this would be big enough to be on there. Get that up. Get to the tournament thing. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a signal. Give me a signal. Yes. The phone right there. Mm -mm. Oh, he almost got off of there. Yes, 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 yes. It's 
enough to be on there. <laughs> 13 inches, hey. 13 inch. That's all matters. Now, get your mouth closed. Stay there. Dang it. Oh. Oh, I hope I got that picture. I changed our deal and now it's not even let me cancel. Piss me off. Oh, I hope I got the picture. Damn it. Damn it. Sure. Time limit about out, and I don't have no signal to send my catch, so I'm gonna have to go ahead and call a day because I want to at least get one fish on the board. Won't get me nowhere, but at least it shows I caught something out here beside a little. At least I did something. A uh, it's a good, good uh, tournament. I love it. It's pretty cool. It's a challenging. I'll, I'll meet a bunch of people and go fishing and tournaments is just pretty neat. I thought this was cool. This is Wild Bill's Adventures Outdoor. And I'll catch you on the other side. Woo! Oh, yeah! Woo! Woo! Taco Bell! <laughs> <Taco> Bell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! Woo! Check on the other adventures when you can. This is Wild Bill's Adventures Outdoor. Oh, yeah! Well, I only had one catch and I can't submit. Um, you could take a look. Well, one bad thing out here, you need to leave real early, real early after it be, before the tournament is over because three, 2 30 we put, uh, be done with the line. But the problem is there's no service out here, not enough, not enough service to send your catch. So that means out here you're just going to have to pack up and be gone. A good half 40 minutes or longer uh, just to go out of town and find a place to have service so I I'm disqualified because I can't even send my catch so it doesn't really matter because I only caught one but is it's just an ideal thing I just wanted to actually actually would have uh, sent it in but it's 3 o'clock and it's 302 and I still can I don't have no service whatsoever and I there's there was no time to get out to on the highway uh, just to send off their inform their stuff. So one good lesson. See, I'm just learning a, a fishing tournament, and what I'm learning about, 
um, when you don't have service, you can save everything on your, they have a uh, little catch area. Let me get out of here. I'm getting tired of this thing. Uh, C, C, uh, PR Live Well, and that's where you, uh, uh, this app and, and there's multiple places with people out here that, and there's some, one guy who came from Streamfield, Missouri and there's multiple people and different uh, different fishing uh, how do you want to say different organization different fishing organization kayak organization from different states and and even some of from Kansas and uh, are in different outfits uh, there's so many out there I can't tell you all of them but there is pretty cool about just knowing that all these people are coming out from other states, from Springfield, Missouri, all over the, uh, here in Kansas, and all multiple places. But one thing I learned, learning as a as a fisherman, angler fisherman, as new at uh, tournaments, you need once you if you have no service, you need to be out of this water that you get get out quickly and get on the highway. If you have to half an hour, 30, 40 minute drive, you gotta get going so you can submit your catches because right here I can't sit, submit it, my catches at all there's not enough signal I only have one to two bars and that's not enough to send the catch to this uh, uh, to this app but that's all right at least I had fun I had, uh, caught two bass one was too small to be sent off uh, and the second one is 13 and a half inch so it still was a good day of fishing so at least I didn't I got skunked out I got two fish but this is Wild Bill's Adventures Outdoor. Yahoo! Oh yeah! Catch you on the other side. Ow! <laughs>just let you know all that frustration uh, trying to get on uh, sim submit my uh, catch uh, I know I wasn't going to win because I only caught one fish but the idea was like uh, I wish I could get on the board well I looked it up and uh, on my email it shows I'm on the board what during all that time it finally went through I thought it never went through and for some reason, it, one of the, one of the attempts that went through it was uh, so I felt good about it. Like yes, let's see. There's 21 um, anglers, and I'm 19th place. 19th at uh, 21 because I only caught one fish. But that's okay. I feel good about it that it, it finally got up on the board, and it made my day when I saw that. Like yes, all right. That's pretty cool. Anyhow, this is uh, the cabin rented out here. Larry already left. We ate uh, a lot of, cooked a lot of food, uh, grilled a lot of food, but it's kind of cool. This little cabin. It's got a nice little bathroom in here. Each. There we go. Nice little bathroom here. It's not a bad little cabin. Here's my bed. It's not bad. And Laramie, when he stayed here, he stayed on and yeah, slept in this Murphy bed here. Oh. And this is where he slept at. Pretty cool. Nice little Murphy bed. And that's where Laramie slept when he was over here last night. Oh. He don't he don't really fish, so he just like to go on his kayak and go explore the lakes. So it's pretty cool. Anyhow, just gonna say shout out. I was on the board by somehow another. It finally went through during the time kept sending, kept sending, and it was denied, denied. I uh, didn't have enough service, but I feel good. It went through. That's all that matters. I made my day. Y'all have well, y'all have a great day. Catch y'all later. Forget don't forget hit like
thumbs up and subscribe and check out some more adventures. I noticed people like the ghost town a lot, the one I did. I'm going to try to do more ghost towns in different states, probably be next year uh, when I have some vacation to go out that far distance. Um, I um, don't know where I'll be going yet, but I think about Utah, maybe California, Colorado. There are awesome, unique uh, ghost towns. That is uh, wild, wild west. Look awesome. There's just so many ghost towns out there. I like to check all of them out when I can. So hopefully the next spring to summer, uh, I'll hit some of those ghost towns and see what happens. But we'll keep on doing some fishing. And I'll catch you later. Wow! This is my view in the morning at the lake. Got a grill here. It's really nice. Cook that up. A lot of food. The past two days on it. Fire pit. I had some fire there. Come with a nice picnic table. And there's only two cabins out here. It's a really nice day. Oh, pretty cool.